what is up guys it is Catherine here and I want to share with you my favorite tarot deck in this video and then I want to talk about a tarot reading that is coming into full view that I've done a few days ago and we'll get into that story here in a minute but first my favorite tarot deck currently to use is the Druid Craft Tarot by Philip and Stephanie Cargom, illustrated by Will Worthington. And now this deck I've had before, and my dad actually bought it for me for my 18th birthday, and I'm 26 now, so if that tells you how long ago it was. But I used that deck so much, it actually fell apart. Some of the cards started falling apart, like splitting in half, falling apart and tearing up. It took me forever to track down another copy, but this year, I think I've had this, I think I've had this particular copy for about a month and a half now. So it's taken me quite a bit to uh, find a local shop that actually sells a copy of this. And not to mention, I think this one, I think I ended up getting like, paying like 18 for it. But like the big box with the humongous book in it, it's like 20 some dollars or something like that. So I got a pretty good deal. Um... And I got it local. Support those local witchy shops. I mean, support local as much as possible, right? So, that's just my current favorite deck to use. I love to read it for myself. Um, I'm going to actually start using my other deck. It's the Book of Shadows Tarot Volume. I believe it's Volume 1 that's structured like a traditional tarot deck. That's the one. Um, I don't know if it's number Volume 1 or Volume 2. I can't remember. But I have Barbara Moore's Book of Shadows, two-deck tarot set. Um, I like to use it, but like I said, it can be anywhere in this room right at the moment. I just got back from a little bit of a break, a little bit of vacation away. I went to go visit my mother. So, um, I haven't had time to dig everything out yet. But anyway, so let's get into my experience. Uh, so... If any of you guys know me personally, I know I have some personal friends who watch these videos, but if any of you guys personally know me, you'll know that I, since moving back to Missouri, my wife, my kid, and I have been living with family, and it has been stressful, very stressful. And so a few days ago, uh, you know, we've been working to get Section 8, got all the paperwork turned in, we were just waiting. Well, I was getting antsy, my wife was getting antsy, so I, real quickly, I dealt cards. I did a reading, I just did a very basic question, like, wh if, when the move happens, because I want it to happen, uh, but when the move happens, what will, what will the move bring? I got a good question very good reading. Uh, it was, the reading essentially said, um, essentially said that the move will bring, uh, peace and good fortune, um, in all of its aspects. And it did, it did warn me about, uh, what did it warn me about? Come on, brain. It did, it did have a warning about uh, some finance, some rocky areas financially, um, but overall good fortune. All right. So here we are. It's last night, I get back from my vacation, and I have in the mail a letter from the housing authority, or at least I thought it was a letter. Believe it or not, it's not. It's actual paperwork for me to sign so we can get our voucher. As from what I understand, I know it's like a document and I have to sign it. I have to send them a copy, keep a copy, um, but it says voucher on the top. So I'm assuming that either I have to sign it so they can send me my voucher or I have to sign or that is, I guess you could say my voucher. I don't know. I have to call later today to the housing authority and get clarification as to what this document is. All right. And then of course I'm going to get it sent out as fast as possible. Like there's no, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We're this close. We're going to do it. So 
and my reading is starting to come to fruition. But with that comes uh, comes not necessarily an issue, a new issue. It's an issue that has been an issue this whole time. I got a job. I was working 25 hours a week. Well, the last two weeks, I have had, they have not given me any hours for the last two weeks. Contacted my boss, asked if he was firing me. He said, no, he's not firing me. Contacts me a few days ago, asked me if, if I'm okay to work on this, and this day, on this day. So now, here we are, week three, and I have five hours. All right. Sorry, four hours. Four and a half, four and a half, five hours. Anyway, in there. Um, so everything that I was putting back for the apartment had to be used to fix the car. We had a sensor go out and I guess it was a very important sensor and it cost me a pretty penny to fix just that. All right. And then we're back to square one with hardly anything saved. I'm not trying to give you a sob story. I'm just giving you a general rundown. So... What I'm saying is drawing the connections and lines from the reading that I did a few days ago to the current situation, the move is going to ha is going to happen, but the rocky financials is getting the pl getting the money secured to move. Okay? So, the longer you work with tarot, the more you the more you start to realize those things that it may talk about a rocky financial, uh, rocky fi uh, some be aware of rocky financials um, for a little while. Well, what could that mean? Well, in my situation, it meant securing the funds to move. All right, as I see it right now. But in someone else's situation, it could mean that it's going to cost more for them than they plan to move. All right. So the more you work with tarot, the better, the more you see those connections. And I just really wanted to share my favorite tarot deck with you and a story as well as drawing the connections between the tarot reading and my current situation. So I hope if anything, this has restored some people's faith in tarot. And if it, if it's someone, if you're someone who's already got a lot of faith in tarot, keep reading keep shuffling keep dealing out your cards and you know continue to study tarot is a very wonderful topic it is i mean a very wonderful tool for guidance and people just need to stop being the way that they are in regards to tarot i mean come on i know skeptics are going to be skeptical but give it a shot you can't be skeptical if you haven't given it a shot, in my opinion. So with that, guys, um, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, namaste.